Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we basically did everything that we needed to do to get Murray out of the big house. We destroyed a bridge, we destroyed a giant attack water tower, we got some secret codes from the Contessa's guards, and now it is time for us to make a play for the big guy. So, before we head out, I want to go to Bentley. And the reason behind that is, well, the heist is literally right next to us. So, without further ado, let's hop on down here and let's get this started. Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Unfortunately, starting the heist does not give the guards permission to take the night off. So, for now, we're just going to have to sneak behind this guy and hopefully he does not see us. Uh, if, if he would take his sweet time. We just got to go right in front of the prison right there across that small bridge. Unfortunately, there are a couple wolf guards sitting right over there. They decided that would be the perfect place to take a nap, even though there's a spotlight constantly going over their heads, which would make sleeping really, really annoying in my opinion, because I hate it when light gets in my face while I sleep. And, of course, there had to be a flashlight guard patrolling around here because he decided to double back around. Either that or just hoof it around that little bridge uh, pretty damn fast. So, for now, uh, we could possibly go across the other bridge over there and just sneak behind the wolf guards, but I'd have to contend with the searchlight. So, instead, what I'm going to do is we are going to throw a couple bombs over there. Hopefully, the guards get over there. We go. Ah, oh, I actually got one. Throw him right there. Let's see if we can actually get the flashlight guard along with the other wolf guard. Ooh, nice. And thankfully, they are completely oblivious as to where these bombs are being thrown from, even though at this point, I would have a pretty good idea of where they're coming from. Let's wait for him to hop over there, and there we go. Ooh, and we get a boatload of money to do so. All right, let's head on across the bridge. And hopefully not get caught by the searchlight, hit, head into the tank. And thankfully, the cutscene saved us. I can see why getting the tank in there uh, is vital for the... I can see why the getting the tank into the prison is vital to get into the cell block D, but... You know, Bentley, Sly could have just met you inside the prison. It's not like it's the first time we've been inside its walls. I guess it was probably just to say, hey, we're together in this. We're going to just stay together and not worry ab about getting lost. So, got to be very careful going over here. After a certain point, the searchlight up, up above the prison gate actually will start tracking you. So, so long as you stay underneath the tank, you are good, and thankfully, Sly is in the perfect position to not get his hand or his cane run over by the treads, even though the cane is obviously going underneath the tread. Alright, and the tank should be arriving right on schedule. Suckers. I gotta say, this is also the, the quietest tank I have ever seen. Like, there's no sounds of the engine roaring, there's no sounds of the treads going over the, the rocks. I gotta say, where can I get one of these stealth tanks? You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Alright, now we could go backwards and be safe from the turret, but you know what? I like to live dangerously, so let's go forward instead. You don't have to tell me twice, Bentley. All right, in we go. I'm having some trouble sabotaging the tank. I mean, go what what ahead. is there to have trouble sabotaging a tank for? All you gotta do is plant bombs inside it, then detonate bombs. It's literally a one-two strategy. Excuse me. Open up the elevator, head on down, and Bentley should be joining us. In just a minute. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge. But a few lights seem to have a backup generator. A few lights, Bentley? I Be think careful. all the lights, because I don't see one that's been powered down. 
All right, so just got to be fast on our feet and just get up here to the catwalk. And as you can see down there, there's the little arena that Murray fought the guards in. Uh-oh, speaking of guards. And there we go. Yeah, there's a bunch of wolf guards hidden inside these cells, which for whatever reason are disguised as statues, even though this guy is doing a horrible job disguising himself. Like, I can still see the fur, buddy. You're not fooling anybody. Cause a little bit more property damage in here, because why not? Get some more money. We'll see ya. I think actually if you stayed on that hook right there, he actually would just hop after you and just die from the fall. See ya. And you're gone too. I, I don't think I've ever said it enough that how much, as much as I don't like the frog levels, the wolf guards probably have the best falling animation because it's basically just a Looney Tunes at that point where he, he looks at it, then realizes that, oh wait, this mace of mine is really heavy, and then it drags him down into the, the ground below. It's, it's probably the best falling animation out of all the guards. Alright, gonna hop in here real quick just to get some more money. You can get a lot of money from these prison cells. Like, it's ridiculous how much these uh, chairs, toilets, beds, and sinks give you. Let's head on up here. Take care of another guard. And down he goes. If only I had Bentley with me. I could have possibly... Uh, is it even possible for me to get in there? I mean, well, yeah, but I probably would have to break that, fall down, and go all the way around again, and then come back up here to just get into a cell to get a few coins. So, in my mind, not worth it. Instead, we're going to take care of this flashlight guard before he turns around. Ah, oh, he's got something good on him. This is going to be... What? Just in case. Let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, I can. Well, mostly. You still saw me, but it was a very short-lived scene. All that really mattered was that I got the shiny that was in his pocket, because, as we all know, shiny is good. Let's head on up here. Hop on over here. And deal with more of these old baby spider enemies. I'll be right back. Did somebody call an exterminator? Wow, these spiders are relentless. I don't remember ever having so much trouble fighting them. And more of them. And there we go. Funny enough, these things only appear in... Just this section of the prison in front of the elevator back there, and then, like, one other point later in, in the game, and then that's it. You never see him again. I'm pretty sure that searchlight should be seeing me. And as much as the coins in there are tantalizing to me, probably best not to go for it. Just hop in here. Do you have a shiny in your pocket? Yes, you do. Ooh, gold medal. And take you out. Make sure nobody sees what we're up to, so we're just going to break all this stuff. We don't really have to, but we get money out of it, which is, you know, the best thing to get out of breaking machinery. Weird that there's like a like a chained up uh, pair of shackles in the guard station of all things. Like, do they actually have prisoners like stationed in here watching the guards work and stuff? Because that seems like a really big oversight. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. Y you see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. Alright. Uh, let's head back up and over. And head into solitaire. bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. 
You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice. And he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Don't worry, Murray. We'll get you out of there in no time. Just so long as I don't get cooked by these lasers. Let's grab all that we can up here because there is a lot of coins that you can get from this little seating area. Weird that there's like a big seating area in solitary confinement. You would think that, you know, it would be very cramped and small in here and there wouldn't be a lot of seating for multiple inmates because, again, it's solitary. But who knows? Just break all this stuff. It's actually really important to break this stuff before what happens next because if what happens next uh, breaks all the furniture here, you actually don't get the coins for it. So it's best to do some property damage on your, on your own. Just keep hopping over the lasers. Oh, oh no. I want to go through this without hitting a single laser. And we're good. I think there are more spiders up here. Nope, no spiders up here. Hop on over this. You actually will get burned if those lasers right there will hit you. So you can't actually run underneath them. And before we go and try to crack the code on that, let's go and break all the stuff in here. And let's head on over here. Okay, I'm hacking the laser barrier. So, making a return once again, my least favorite favorite part of the game, hacking. I don't care what anybody says, anyone says, the hacking doesn't, in this game doesn't get good until the very end, and the third game is much better when it comes to hacking, but I'm just saying that right now. I know it's going to make a lot of people angry, but it's my thoughts. I'm just going to break one of these firewalls, get up here. Honestly, this would, I would say the hacking in this level isn't as bad as it gets in, like, say, the next episode. In the next episode and in episode six, uh, it's definitely where the hacking gets to be a little much. But when we get to the final episode of the game, the hacking actually becomes really fun. So I don't outright hate the hacking uh, in this game. I just prefer the hacking of the other ones. Honestly, even in the first game. Flip the switch to turn on the hypno box. Hey, Bentley, I thought we were supposed to turn these all on at the same time. What's that sound? Angry. Get gone. So this level introduces something I really like. This is peak Mariness, where when he becomes even more agitated because of the hypno boxes, he gets weird. He gets super weird, but I love it at the same time. I don't know here. I gotta say, the state of this prison is absolutely deplorable. Like Seriously, OSHA standards would have a field day with this place because there's there's catwalks that are completely destroyed. There's areas that have complete uh, and total no railings around it. It's easy to fall and hurt yourself. Just, geez, we probably could have just uh, sent like an OSHA inspector to this place and have it shut down and get Murray transferred to possibly a less secured prison. Just saying. I'll take care of the laser wall. All right, now for round two, we got the little stationary shooty uh, defense drones. I think that's what these things are. N not too bad. You just have to deal with them. And also, there's another tier of firewalls to shoot through, which is just... It's, it's basically nothing. Honestly, the, the, the main reason why I don't like it, especially for these early parts, is just... At, at the most times, it's just really boring to just shoot the same thing over and over again. Yeah, you have to contend with the little, like, fast drones that are chasing after you, and also gotta make sure you don't get hit by the stationary turret drones, but still. For the most part, when it comes to shooting the firewall, it's just holding a button or holding a stick one way and just waiting for it all to go away. Occasionally having to move or adjust the stick to shoot the drones coming after you. Also, the 
how many shots you have to put into a single node for these firewalls, it really varies. That at times I pump like maybe half a dozen shots into them, other times it's like two to one to two shots, and it's very inconsistent. Oh, this could be bad. Ooh. All right, and we're free. All clear. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything. That is hands down the best uh, part of this heist where Murray just goes, I'm a little teapot. I love it. I love you, big guy. We're getting you out of here. Don't worry. One thing I, I will say I like about the hacking for this heist in, in this area alone is the fact that each of the uh, little uh, notes that you go to unlock actually will will go away and it represents the little three lasers that are going around uh the security panel i'm on it and finally the last part where it's basically just more shooty drones and three tiers of firewalls let's just take care of these real quick best thing I've learned about doing this is just so that everything doesn't take forever to go through is to move back and forth to group them all together because the firewalls actually do follow you. So if you uh, can group like a bunch of them together, it actually helps get rid of them much faster than it would just individually shooting each of them. Ooh! Hi, how's it going? This, oh. You guys are not making this easy for me, you know that? Here I am, just trying to break through a firewall, and you got I got these guys coming after me non-stop, and I just want to get through this. Ah. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty bad with this one. Usually I can go through these ones with the little fast uh, one-shot drones without taking any damage from them. Seriously, there we go. Break through that. Oh, boy. And finish this off. There you go. Well, it wasn't at the same time, but it still works, I guess. That's using your head, Murray. So yeah, basically, the boss of this episode is Murray. He's technically not a boss, but I like to classify him because we are technically fighting Murray. Basically, we need to use Murray's rage and strength to take out the hypno bosses so that he will break out of this little thing that's going on with him. Basically, it's basically a game of... Uh... Oh boy! Run, buddy. This way, there we go. Uh, my head. Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to. The weak minded hippo is free. And he's got friends. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it. So yeah, for this heist, we actually get to do get to play as all of the members of the game. Bentley's still back there by the terminal for some reason. Sly's ready to go right here. And I'm going to burn my hands because... Where do you think Murray kept the clockwork heart? 
because definitely wouldn't have been in his shoes. He doesn't wear pants. The belt was not hiding anything, and he didn't eat the heart. So there is only one location that it could be hiding. So what we're going to be doing after this heist is we are either going to burn that heart or power wash it and also do the same with my hands. So, gotta lift these cranks. The cranks here actually are not as bad as the past lifting things with Marie. I guess it makes sense this is something that would widely be used by the guards in the prison to open up the doors and such, whereas the other stuff in the in the Rajan sections were rusted old relics. Let's go! Go right into that wall! No good head shrinker! Oh, come now, Mari. We were making such progress during our specials. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time. I'm done talking with my mouth, and now I'm talking with my fists is also a good line for Marie. He has a lot of good lines in these games, I have to say. So, this part, uh, Contessa is going to be running away from us and dropping off little spider bomb things, which is kind of morbid when you think about it because it looks like she's laying these. I'm going to say spider eggs, and immediately uh, these little hatchlings are going to chase after us. Oh, God, what, what have we become? I mean, I'm sure Bentley's okay with it. He's a mad bomber, but still. These things actually hurt quite a lot. Uh, they have a huge explosion. It's almost impossible to outrun them. It's not impossible because I actually have done it, like, once. They have a pretty uh, strict timer on them, though, and sometimes she will try to drop one or two at, a, at the same time or uh, two at the same time. Or close together but so long as you have Bentley and Sly with you to help out you should be able to take care of them without them any any of them detonating and I'm wondering now ooh, that was actually pretty close I'm actually wondering right now if this is where the giant attack robot was gonna come into play and attack us while we were chasing her across the walls of the prison ah, she's getting away don't worry pal we'll find her with the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray, let me drive. That's actually a really nice moment where Murray actually lets Bentley drive the van for once. <sighs> well, that was the worst chapter, in my opinion, done and over with, and I never have to revisit it ever again. Hooray! Next time on Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we are going to head into Chapter 5, and from the looks of things... Uh, we're gonna be tangled up in something pretty serious. See you guys next time. Later.